why bother? Sometimes it can just feel like you're caught between a rock and a hard place. And all the, all the warmth, all the kindness, all the joy, all the sweetness of life has been squeezed right out. You can feel overwhelmed, hopeless, very much alone. Many, many people are feeling like that in this world today. And funny enough, not funny enough, it can be a good reason why we don't reset to simple. Because if you reset to simple, you're may find yourself faced with the bare hard facts that your life is proving very challenging for yourself right now. And we can say, okay, in the moment, everything is fine. And that certainly is a, a practice to practice, a discipline to practice, breathing into now and remembering that problems are of the mind. Nonetheless, that is a discipline which opens, sure, can open in an instant, but equally also paradoxically over a lifetime. In the meantime, you have your experience of yourself and where you are right now. So we start where we are, and many of us don't necessarily feel like enlightened beings right now. We don't have that palpable experience of enlightenment. So, so can maybe uh, in company elevate yourself but then when you come back to solitude in your own space in your own time you may feel very overwhelmed and ill-equipped to handle the challenges present in your life resetting to simple can feel overwhelming as well like if you lay bare um strip away some of the distractions, then what are you left with? The a feeling that you'll be, be throwing out the baby with the bathwater and, and that baby is your baby soul. And of course you don't want to do that because actually resetting to simple is not throwing away the juiciness of your life of you, but clearing away a space so that you can spend time with that which truly is most precious for you. But on that journey, that can feel sad, it can feel painful, it can feel disorientating. So sure, then bad habits snuckle sneakle back in it's not an english word it just sounds funny they can um they can sneak back in these these challenging habits these habits that you know don't serve you but actually they're coming in as as a naive uh, protection mechanism and let's frame them that way please please dear soul remember that actually mind is stepping in valiantly 
to protect you from things that it feels that it's equipped it has the quick answer like um an expert an expert that is super charismatic but knows very little about the subject when you dig deeper your your life conditions stay the same so what is going to give you that hard one transformation you've been craving since the beginning of time that brings you back to cozy you in you? Well, actually, what's going to give you that is you giving you that. Ha. Huh. So actually, bringing the left hand onto the heart, the right hand on top, and actually insisting on giving yourself time right now and each day, scheduling it in. That's what a schedule is about. It's not to, to do uh, uh, whipping, a whipping discipline that you can't keep up with, but to create a schedule that that nourishes you, that gives you a life worth living, that is a space where you learn to be the best expression of yourself. So right now we do a little practice, a little big practice. Expanding into belly, contracting belly, again and again. Wonderful. Always wonderful. If painful, yep. If you don't spiritually bypass being alive and human, having a human heart is painful. And we remind ourselves that this pain is the pain of awakening and opening. There is some pain in childbirth in, and uh, baby births <laughs> and equally in conscious birthing, birthing into your radiance, into to your light body. Just closing your eyes, pressing the hands into your spiritual heart not your hearty heart, heart, heart. It's nice and sentimental as that is. But uh, this is the real one that aches. Press in until you feel that coziness. You're just risking stopping. This is resetting to simple. This is it. This is the defining practice. Breathing in. And right now, this breath, you're taking the longest, deepest breath of your, of your life. Never mind about what's come before, what's coming after. Full and deep and long. You with you, in you. As crazy as it is, as it may appear to you or others, faced with the most trying or challenging circumstance. A little while ago, I was held up at gunpoint. Uh, for instance, I use it as an example. And I decided I was going to use it as an opportunity to refresh myself, to, I'm not saying you have to do this. Uh, I just decided that I was not going to not feel the challenge of it, but I was from going to use it as a as a as an instigator of a fresh leaf for life that i was i was going to refuse on 
tunneling downwards, but rather use the intensity of the feelings I was experiencing to tunnel into my heart. So giving yourself some time now to be a bit insane, whatever challenges you're facing right now, aligning yourself to your higher principles, to what you hold most true, most precious. This is what gives you dignity and integrity, is actually faced with the hardships of life you act how you choose to act. You don't react, you don't bitch, you don't gossip, you don't answer violence with aggression and anger and rudeness. This is what resetting to simple is about, is actually saying whatever has gone before, whatever has happened before, I honour myself for going through all those challenges and maybe sometimes handling things in the most diabolical manner. You did not know how to do better or you did not because otherwise you would have. If it was possible, it would have happened. Coming into deep forgiveness, just underlining that, breaking the hypnotic trance of endless life sentences, death sentences, really, we give ourselves. And instead, choosing to grip on with all your worth, that which you hold most precious. Grip into that, press into that in your heart, breathe into that satnam. The truth that as a vibration that you know, you know, you know, you know at the subtlest level, not betraying that, don't betray that in you, in anybody. And in your schedule throughout the day, give times to stop. You can handle one breath. You have time for that. I have time for that. Our mind it can be trained to be. It's tyrannical, otherwise untrained. But we can incrementally schedule in delight. We can find ways to do our taxes, to do what is, does have our name on it, with a smile, with a good attitude, not as a Pollyanna, not as uh, without feeling the challenge of it, But with love, this is love. This is love for yourself. Not flopping down and I can't, it's not possible. The soul doesn't do can't. The soul knows that you are enough. So taking some time to get a bit more real with your journaling, with your scheduling for this week. And actually, what you schedule in that is a can-do, that is possible. Not some fantasy of the mind, but bearing in mind where you're at. What one tiny thing can you drop into your light that will vibrate, twinkle, twinkle and sparkle through your day? 
what little ways can you remind yourself of what you hold most precious throughout your day when you're in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your bedroom? How do you act with you when you're alone that is honorable to you, that has integrity, that keeps your, not your head held high, but your heart held high? Dear sister, dear brother, dear other, Satnam, Satnam, Satnam.